We want to speak to Superintendent Fred Asarimenta. He is the Amasaman District Commander for the Ghana Police Service. Now, did you know about the demonstration earlier? Honestly, they wrote to us uh, that they wanted to demonstrate. And we sat down with the leaders of the, of the, the uh, organizers of the demonstration. And then uh, we made them to understand that all other, other, other means to, you know, Resolve the issue has not been resorted to. So they should sit down with the major stakeholders in this issue and try to judge all before. And that demonstration should be the last resort. They gave us a full assurance that they were not going to demonstrate. So the whole of yesterday night we were here. You know, it is scattered in Sakina, Oduma, all over. So by the time you move here, these people are there, all through. So now, have you been able to move to all the communities? Because I'm told that, apart from in Sakina, uh, you have the other communities also demonstrating, and it looks like, and it looks like, and it looks like it's been planned in such a way, it it's it's been planned in such a way that they seem to be outwitting you, but you're you're on top of the security that, issue. That's exactly so. Okay. So, exactly. so what will be done now? You you allow them to demonstrate, but tell them to do it we, peacefully. We have advised them not to re, to uh, cause any damage to any property, not to beat anybody. No blood must flow here as a result of this demonstration. And uh, all, even though they have started, we don't want them to do anything contrary that will bring about a breach of the peace. Well, thank you very much. And once that assurance has been given, the residents also have constantly been in touch with the, they've been in touch with their traditional authorities i i have i have knee your your madam 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 open and yama 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 a bit chaotic so i i i have I have your your knee what knee knee ayi ayi mama che knee yeah oduma oduma yo oduma jani ba so the this is the oduma man che knee ayi that be oduma man che oduma eko we eko be man che jimi no man che jimi no what a sub chief of one of the communities in oduma knee may need demonstrate your now for demonstration be an Okay, so he says he supports the demonstrations. Likewise, other traditional authorities in the communities along the stretch, because he's a road user, he has a vehicle, so he is also one of the affected residents, even though he's also a leader in the community like any other. No one can police in for it. Um, Ate, 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 I will get to it. Oh, 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 oh,
So I, I asked him, he, he should acknowledge or know by now that the MP doesn't construct a road and that if they need to have any construct, any dialogue, it needs to be with the MCU of the area. He says, yes, he knows that, but the MP for the area has never been seen dialoguing with the communities for over a year and that they get to see him only annually and that's a concern for him. But no uh, no yes and after be an in worker in worker about a demonstration here the whole of the week. You will be demonstrating for the whole of the week. So Monday you're demonstrating, Tuesday there'll be demonstration, Wednesday another demonstration, another demonstration, Thursday 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 another demonstration. No, I can't about demonstrate the whole week. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Danny, Yami, Yami, Bashan. Yeah. You are not your big jacket. Honorable I, Cabot, Lady Cabot, Amasama. You know what I was like? I will see you. I'm a young girl. Many Tonya Bade, Salaman for me, but what bigger than no war? No, my care, my pay, a farmer, my here, Oduma, the second now, but I'll go. I will care what local. Obey, I'm here, me. I'm not care what local. Come back, come on, local pet. But I got the most social up your Ibabas. Come, you have a care what a Okay, so unless. They get to have some audience with the MC for the area and the member of parliament. They are not stopping. This demonstration is going to go on for the next five days. That's what they say. No more. No more. No more. No more. No 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 like a white elephant because they can't access it. The residents can access the polyclinic at Oduman just because of the bad state of the road. And this they would want corrected. Otherwise, you can't access the polyclinic. Mini. Oh, 
wai de ka waya de ka waya pa no de ka waya pa no ko go eti e e wa wo de ka waya pa no go eti e de wa wo ka ya le ka le le wo ye ka ga ka ga ka ga be kuma ka ba bi e ne ba bi bi o ni mi le ha aya pa o no road no vote mi ni mi ni e wo be hi e o wa ba o ko le ba nye be lo o ka ju o ba o ko le ba ma se e ke o ke bo abo to abo ko pa o ya yo ka ji no vote no lo lo road e e si ne yo ha mo pa a to gbe de ba fe campaign a ke to da abo ta hale ya bi ni wo gbe da fe ko ni o radon but the demonstration was continue now we're told that this is going to continue for the next Five days. We'll, we will always be here. We'll give you the latest as far as the demonstration is concerned. The residents along the community. Now back to the studio. demonstration mo pesa mo ya ekosi fiada sa enu kwapa enu kwapa we have we have a, a midwife who is supposed to go to work where, where, where are you supposed to go to adabraka polyclinic you are supposed to go to work at adabraka and since morning you've been stuck here no. just because there's no public transport the road has been blocked no, yes um, but you live in the community yes. um, how difficult is it for you to commute daily to work just tell me your experience you will spend almost one and a half hour from Afwaman to Ablekuma Junction before you can continue. And it's very terrible. By the time you get to work, you're tired. Pardon? By the time you get to work, you're tired. Yes. I spend almost almost three hours before I get to work. Three hours before coming back home. Now, for you just a resident, you don't you don't have any contact uh, with the MP or the MC, etc. Uh, how frustrating is it for you? very very frustrated because you don't even get access to them if you want to look for them they you will not even see them nobody wants to direct you to them okay. but one refrain i kept hearing here was no road no vote but you do know that it, it just doesn't take a day for a road to be constructed more so the mp is not responsible for constructing a road yes you yes. know that yes so why why do all, all of you residents keep happening on that because he is our head, so if anything, he should take the initiative. 
we can't go to the parliament to present our petition unless we pass through him before we, our petition can be heard. So he has to do something about it. You see my uniform? No work. And you are a midwife? Yes, please. So have you called the authorities at the hospital? I've called my in charge and told that that is the situation on the ground. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're here. I, I wish you all the best for the day. Thank you. So, so when? If nothing is done, the whole week, no work. Try, try, try and go to work. How do I go? Try. How do I go? Try. How do I go? <laughs> because of this road, I scrapped my car. I gave to the drivers, when they play the road, the money they bring, they follow the shot. I have to scrap my car, two cars to pay. You understand what I'm saying? Why? I didn't I lose two families. And that, the driver of mine is also carrying the keys. Yeah, man. Is it good? Yeah, man. Because of one guy, I scrap my car. 10 million, 10 million. Can you imagine? Rasta it's not painful. Rasta Thompson. It's not painful. Rasta Thompson. It's not painful. I came. I bought two cars. Because of this road. Rasta. It's not painful. Can you root man? Put me into your shoes. You know what I'm You know what I'm I don't blame any politician. I blame ourselves. Why should every boss and we vote for them? I don't blame any politician. I blame, we blame our... We have to. No, but listen. But you know that the MP is not supposed to construct your road. Yeah, you have to lobby. You have to lobby. You know what I'm You have to lobby. That's who, yeah. that's who lobby for other communities yeah. as well. Yeah. It's not only your community. Come on. No. Yeah, he has to lobby for other communities. Who is sending you there? He's our messenger. He's not our messenger. He's our messenger. You understand? We find him job. He's doing four by four. You understand what I'm saying? He will send him there to send our wires over there. He's, he's blockheaded and get here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So all that we've been doing is like water pouring on stone. I'm Ras Bubu Shanti. Respect. I live at Bubu Chen. Ras Bubu Shanti. Me chao. Yes, Rabbi. Omo ya kakra wo ya kwan mi. E se se e ma no kura mi titira ya bre. Sa wo to le hamra ti na obeji na kwan so a wo nya ka o. E tu si kwan so pe na kwa kwa be attack o. Wo si ka di kwan ya juma ni ya die fru nsam. Na ya bro ya ni ya ku ya. Ya bre wo kwan so ya Rabbi. And I say, I should you know, you need your bread. Oh, my coat, I said, I better cast Betimiaba. Now, yes, you are Timia for a Maya Timia Apo, Apo Yadu Masha Yama. Visa Yasuka, so I need a bridge is over so I need a bow, near two seconds, the kind, and then my rubbish, and go for the ten feet, which I'm here to your bonnet, and Sansa Quina, and my car, and Timima, and my Yasuan Yabi, and fruits, and I'm more moving into your strap. I Mano, Yanya, MPP Abuano, and this by Abuano, MPP Ababiasu Abuano, and this Abayan China near Machaya Sabu to Mimua, and the Akatra by Prince, a drop out to Amanisia, Cochromotini at the Toyan, and one year before, Cochromati Power, I am the idea, the idea, the Astra by Power. Right, we're, 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 we have on the phone lines Emmanuel Nila, he's an MP for Amasaman, which is, of course, the area where the agitation is ongoing. Mr. Lai, good morning. Thank you for your time. Uh, chaotic scenes from your constituency. How do you respond to this? Hello, Mr. Lai. Hello. Ah, there you are. Thank you for joining us. Now, there are some chaotic scenes coming from your uh, constituency. How do you respond to this morning's riots? Well, thank you very, very much. And um, a good morning to you and your cherished viewers. Um, most unfortunate. Hello? Yes, we're listening. Yes, Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Most unfortunate. But um, to be honest with you, I think it's uh, something that I expected. And as a matter of fact, I had even wanted to join this demonstration because all efforts that I have made towards getting government to uh, complete this road have proved futile. And um, 
I believe that, you know, it's high time that, I mean, we as a constituency, especially the residents within the Aquaman, Bokoboko, Ablikuma, and Sakina um, area, you know, send a strong signal to government to actually make government aware of the challenges that uh, we are facing there. But um, 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 let me put this in perspective. Um, in 2017, prior to 2017, NDC, during the era of uh, our ex-president John Mahama, awarded um, the, the said group to a contractor by name Ajo in 2015, thereabout. The road construction commenced, and um, drains were constructed, and I think some filling to the sub-base level was done. And so, um, not too long after these, these, these works were done on the road, uh, NDC lost power, and then we, and MPP took over, obviously, in 2017. Um, it is expected that good projects that are commenced by uh, uh, one government should be continued by the other in the event that that government lost power. Um, it's been two years, almost two years, since NPP government took over. They haven't made any attempt to continue with this, the construction of this road. And in 2017, I filed a question in Parliament to ask the minister what the ministry was doing to get this road completed. And if you permit me, I'll read um, some portions of the, the minister's answer. Um, the Obeye Mahiang Mahiang Oduman Oduman in Sakina Feeder Road form part of Aquaman in Sakina Boko Boko Feeder Road project. The project commenced on 5th June 2015 and was projected for completion by 9th August 2016. The completion date has, however, been extended to 9th August 2017 due to the inclusion of additional drainage work. The works have been executed to the sub-level, sub-base level. However, delay in payment for work done has affected the progress of work. Overall fiscal progress as at the end of May 2017 has been estimated at 58%. This was the answer the minister gave. So clearly, my brother, clearly, you can see that it is an issue of lack of funds to pay the contractor to continue the work because it's almost two years and not a single um, uh, 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 work has been carried out on the road since the MPP took over. So the challenge clearly is the inability of government to pay the contractor to continue. That's basically what it is. And I think at this juncture, the, the road minister should be put to task. Because, I mean, he, he holds the government pen when it comes to, you know, uh, well, the finance minister does, but when it comes to execution of roads, uh, 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 construction of roads and stuff, I mean, he's directly responsible for, for, for overseeing that. You know, and, and I have made several attempts to get government to complete this road. And it's fallen on a deaf ear of government. So I think that demonstration is actually what will uh, uh, make government uh, wake up. Now, Mr. Lai, you, you, you made a comment earlier. We're looking at live images now of, of this demonstration where they are burning tires and old mm -hmm. electrical appliances, uh, you know, which will obviously pollute the environment. We're seeing children and uh, women with babies on their backs walking through these plumes of smoke uh, is breathing it in trying to jump over the flames just to get to work or wherever they are uh, heading to school and so forth you're saying that you would have liked to join this demonstration yes yes i'm saying that you know without any fear or contradiction you're not I, concerned I, I mean this 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 demonstration is 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 not in any well, way well, safe well, for maybe, those maybe in the environment. Uh, in You're saying you would have not, participated, not not, 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 to join in the sense of burning tires to pollute the air and all, but to join to uh, actually register our displeasure with regards to how government is 
treating the people of Guaman, Mahi, and Sakina and Oduman. Now, from what you're saying, a, 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 you know, in, in terms of burning tires, obviously, right. obviously not. Okay, now from what you're saying, uh, you have received an explanation from the um, roads ministry. The point you're making is that the explanation is unsatisfactory to you because uh, this was a project that was ongoing, should not be curtailed because of lack of funds. Uh, that's, that's your perspective on the matter. Have you communicated uh, the response government has given to your constituents? Yes, I have attempted. Uh, I haven't met with all the communities. I've met with a, 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 a significant number of the communities, and uh, I have communicated this, you know, adequately to them. Right, and it, well, you say adequately, but yes. um, do you feel that if you had communicated uh, in the same way that the ministry communicated to you, that they would still be demonstrating? Yes, I believe so, because I mean, my brother, if you ply that road on a daily basis, you will probably understand the plight of the people within that area. I mean, it, it is unacceptable for any government to treat its people this way. It is unacceptable, especially, you know, in the wake of, um, 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 uh, 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 I mean, during the 2016 electioneering campaign when we were made to believe that the money is here in Ghana. So for you to make a U-turn, to tell us that you, have, you don't have money to construct the road, that's a, a sharp contradiction. And uh, really, government has borrowed so much within the two years. 40 billion plus. That is what has all those money being used for. And for, for the past two years, we haven't seen a, 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 a simple move, whether uh, uh, getting the road graded or uh, bringing gravels to level it. I mean, nothing. There's absolutely nothing going on on that road. It's been completely halted. Right. I, I believe that, you know, at, at this very point, we, we really ought to, you know, do something for government to be aware that they are treating uh, the people of Mahi and Afwama and Nisakina and Nisakina and Oduman unfairly. Now, we heard some of the demonstrators. Uh, they are calling your name. They are saying no road, no vote. They are basically placing this around your neck to solve the problem. Well, uh, because yes, they I, say, I, because they say, that you made them promises during your campaign. What did you promise them, and why are they holding the, you to account for this? Thank you very much. Um, well, I'm not shying away from that responsibility. As the member of parliament responsible for that area, I mean, it falls within my purview to be able to, you know, push and lobby for the road to be constructed. But this is, this is a situation where we have a government that has, you know, closed its ear to the cry of the people. You know, so I, I, I take the blame. Uh, what I ought to do now is to go down there and really explain the issues better to them and to, you know, provide some documentary evidence to them for them to actually see that uh, I have done my part by lobbying for the road, by getting it started during the era of NDC. It's, it's, it's a clear indication of me fulfilling my campaign promise because I'm not directly responsible for paying for the work done on the road. It's the central government through the Ministry of Roads that will make the payment. So as it stands now, it's, it's, the, it's the, the Ministry of Roads that has shed its responsibility, you know, in ensuring that they pay the contractor for the work to continue. Well, they're calling for you. Why are you not down there? Say that again. They are calling for you. Why are you not down there this morning? It's because I'm speaking with radio stations and TV stations like we're speaking now. But I'm on my way. I'll, I'll definitely go there. I'll go there. Right. And what is the solution that you propose in the short term to this matter? When you get there, what are you going to do to bring uh, some, some satisfaction to your constituents? Well, I believe that um, at this very point, um, there's not much I can do than to explain the issues as they are to my constituents. And um, I believe that when I'm able to do that, they will probably understand and realize that, you know, it's the fault of the government that we all voted for. That is the MPP government. And, you know, um, there's a, a critical issue that I think some of uh, you journalists ought to, you know, take up and educate the public on. The government has introduced a realignment law which seeks 
to cut allocations to statutory funds. And obviously, most of these statutory funds are used for infrastructural development. So obviously, since the allocations to these funds are cut, it will stifle and affect infrastructural provision in the country. You know, so I think it's something that you, as, as journalists, you also need to, to take up to educate the people. Because, look, this, this, these issues of roads and projects that have come to a standstill are not peculiar to my constituency. Throughout the country, throughout the country, throughout the country, right. so, where you go, the so, roads are in a bad, you know, they're in bad condition. Right. So to answer my question, what exactly are you going to do to give Well, I'll the people keep on comfort. engaging the Ministry of Roads to see how best they can, you know, uh, honor their, their, their responsibility by making sure that the contractor is paid and she returns back on site. And then also engage my constituents to explain the issues to them. And probably in the very short uh, future, organize a massive demonstration, bigger than what is, what is being seen there, to register our displeasure to government for, for not uh, 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 continuing with the project that the NDC started. Right. How far away are you from there? Because there are news cameras there from Joy News uh, waiting to uh, see your interaction with, with your constituents. How, how soon will you be getting there? Uh, well, when I'm done uh, with, with uh, some of the interviews and all that, I, I'm parked by the roadside because I can't be, be driving and speaking on the phone at the same time. So right. when I'm done with some of the interviews, I'll continue. But I, I can't really give a time you know, frame because sometimes there's some hold up in terms of traffic especially um, around Fukuase and the uh, Hamasaman area. So well, I can't see it with maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, well, we're glad you spoke to us. But, uh, you know, rather than speak to all radio stations before you get there, why don't you get there and speak to them for all the media to pick up uh, what you have to say uh, at so, that so point? Su su supposing I decline to speak with you to continue with my journey, I don't think that would be in good taste. Well, our cameras you know, would have caught you there. In, uh, in, anyway, in, um, Mr. Laie, we thank you very much for your time with us. Mr. Laie <laughs> is the Member of Parliament for Ama Saman. He's on his way to his constituency to speak to those who are agitating uh, there right now. Let's go across. Let's find out how things are going uh, as this demonstration rages on. Roland, what's the latest? Which we and so our MP. He really relates this town. Any time that I'm Who is the MP for the area? Do you know? He's called Okan Laye. Honorable Okan Laye. Okan Laye. Eight years now, in which he has been sued as the MP. He's not staying here. So he, did, he has not even thought of whether we, we, we stay here. We have been to. Yes, maybe that's how you feel. You see, the MP doesn't control. The MP doesn't construct roads. Do you know? The MP, he doesn't construct roads. Do you know that? The MP, the, we know he has no contact with, but he, he can combine with the DC and then after we will be having some everything will be able to stop it for us. But the MP is not staying here, the DC is not staying here, and we are staying here, go to them. But 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 the MP, we have a vast constituency. This is not the only community in the constituency. You know all the chain of communities here. You know that. So so how how can the MP? We'll be bringing you more from the community as events unfold. Uh -huh.